sell squash. It's nutritious and tasty, but let's face it, it's boring. But by using certain techniques, a TV commercial can make squash exciting, such as adding color, music, special effects, a catchy slogan and an interesting sound effect. Suddenly, you've got a flashy commercial that makes squash fun, exciting, and the answer to your problems. The power of TV commercials can make most products and services enticing, even the ordinary squash. But, does that mean that this product is better than other products? How can you become an informed consumer who can separate fact from pizzazz? You can start by learning the techniques that advertisers use to help you remember and favor their products. This video will analyze some of these techniques, like creating a target audience, visual and sound elements, and persuasive appeals. Knowing how commercials work will help you become a smarter consumer, one who can separate a commercial substance from its style. Thousands of television commercials, or TV spots as they're often called, are broadcast every year. Some appeal to the viewer's desire to be loved, others to the need to feel attractive, to be accepted by friends, or to be healthier or smarter. And if the advertising is effective enough, it can mean millions of dollars in sales for a company, which is why advertisers spend a great deal of money to produce commercials and to make sure the commercials are seen by just the right audience. Have you ever noticed how some commercials are meant for you, while others seem to be geared towards older or younger audiences? That's because advertising is developed to appeal to a specific group, or what is called a target audience. A target audience is a group of people who have certain characteristics in common, such as age, gender, or ethnicity. So, makers of TV spots will choose visuals and music that appeal to their target audience. Also, actors will be chosen to portray the audience that the advertisers are targeting. We're going to look at a commercial to consider the idea of target audience. As you watch, see if you can tell what audience the advertiser is targeting. What elements do you think this audience might find appealing? And what assumptions do you think this spot makes about this target group? Hey, look! What? I've never seen such a display. I'm not paying for this. We know you're broke. We make you less broke. Ecampus.com. Textbooks and stuff. Cheap. Advertisers always have a target audience in mind when they make a commercial. And every detail is there for a purpose. The bottom line is to get your attention, then to get you to respond. Advertisers must make commercials visually compelling and entertaining, or this will happen. Obviously, advertisers don't want their spot to be zapped. So, they use visual elements like color, lighting, motion, camera angles, pacing, and special effects. Let's take a look at one of these elements, special effects. Advertisers use special effects to create a mood and grab our attention. <laughs> Got your attention instantly, didn't it? <laughs> oh, let's analyze this next spot. What special effects are used? What other visual elements do you notice? Yes, another morning, another trip to the office. But in the Mercedes E-Class, you're in one of the safest cars on the road. 
you're inside a protective cage with front airbags and, get this, side airbags. Heaven knows there are animals on these roads. What you hear in a commercial is as important as what you see. Everything, from music to sound effects, is designed to capture your attention and create a mood. To show how sound effects can make you feel a certain way, let's play a game of... Name That Sound Effect! When you hear the sound effect, try to name it and think about the effect the sound has on you. Let's start with... And the sound effect is... Sizzling Stick. Sound effect number two. And the sound effect is soda being poured. And the last sound effect. And the sound effect is a car engine. When you watch commercials, listen for sound effects. There are often more than you might think, and consider their effects. Another sound that you hear in many commercials is music. Often advertisers take music from popular culture to create an image for a product and to appeal to a specific audience. Notice how many spots today use music from the 1960s and 70s. Your parents are usually the intended audience for these spots. It's the music they grew up listening to. So the emotional impact is often stronger for them than it is for you. As you watch this next spot, notice how the music and the sound effects interact with what you see. Why do you think the advertiser selected these sound effects? What kind of image does the music create for the product? Put her in a good spot, okay? In addition to visual and sound elements, advertisers also use a variety of persuasive techniques or pitches to encourage purchase. Think of how many kinds of commercials you see. Funny ones, factual ones, ads that use a catchy phrase or play on our desire for security. Some of these pitches appeal to viewers' emotions and some to their reason. And as you can see, there are almost as many different selling techniques as there are products to sell. Advertisers sometimes use a combination of appeals to get you to react and buy. One of the more popular persuasive techniques is emotional appeal. Often a commercial that uses this technique hardly mentions the product being advertised. Instead, the spot presents a short story that triggers strong positive feelings that the viewer associates with the product. Like those emotional spots for greeting cards, you may not want to admit it, but some of them can bring a tear to the eye. With this next spot, what emotions does it convey? What elements of the ad are designed to trigger feelings? Okay, everyone. Now, I want you all to have a really good Christmas vacation. Have lots of fun, but uh, don't forget everything we've learned so far this year. Because <clears throat> when we get back, uh, we're going to start a long division. Everybody have a good Christmas. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Merry Christmas. Do your homework. Merry Christmas. Have a good time. Have a good Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Bye-bye. 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 Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Peter? Peter, the bell rang. School's out. You can go. I know. I just wanted to tell you something. I mean, my mom. Wanted me to 